Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Baba Is You. We're, um... We're headed back out to the map to try a new world. Um... Instead of Forest of Fall, let's head to Deep Forest. Renovating. Okay, we're learning about belts and shifting. Yep, every turn it moves me... So, like, if I just pass my turn, it moves me by one. If I try to walk against it, it I don't move at all. And if I walk along with it, I move twice as fast. About what you'd expect. Um, wall is defeat. Kick is you. Water is stop. So, I guess we're supposed to make belts be push instead. And, uh, water is stop, so I can't, like, use this to belt myself into some water or something, right? Indeed, okay. Um, I don't think there's a way to get this third belt back. Or to have ever gotten it here. Um, belt is push. Belt is shift. Like, wall is defeat is noticeable, right? Compared to being, it's not stop, it's defeat. There's some trick about, like, pushing stuff through the wall here, I imagine. And obviously the belt is a thing you can push through the wall. But I don't know why. Oh, we can move the wall! I mean, that I'm still dead. Um... If I had that third belt, I'd be I'd be solved now, right? So maybe it's worth going back to see if I could get it somehow. Right, because then I could move a section of a wall by three and then it would leave a gap for me to walk through. So belt is push. I still don't see how to get this out of here, right? To come back for the belts, the only way in. Um, no, that doesn't help. Like, I can make the belt shift again, and it shifts in the other direction, and like, congratulations, idiot, you're trapped. That's cool, I guess. Water is stopped. So we already looked at this, and I can't... I can't, like, push myself through water, even with a belt, right? Correct. I mean, I can push stuff like this. You know, cool. Um, but, so what? Not a lot of surface area to work with here, and I don't understand what I'm supposed to do with it. It's clearly about pushing belts and then putting them in the best place I can find. So 
I could write belt is push oriented differently if that were useful for someone. Now I'm trapped. Like, that didn't seem to help. Um, but, like, what if I pushed it and then said, like. Belt is shift, and now you're on a belt. Amazing. I pushed everything up there. <laughs> and now I'm just like, I trapped some text, okay. So, wait a minute. Maybe I just like, didn't try hard enough and I already had the solution. I just looked at it and decided it wasn't the solution. Belt is shift. And now, like, could I, like, if I walk and am shifted, do I somehow? No, I don't get to go through the thing. So, what if I push the belts in and orient it differently somehow? I don't really see how that's happening. need to cross this wall to get to win, right? If I could somehow find a way to write belt is flag while I still have some belts over here, I could win that way. That doesn't, like, seem easier, but it is important to check these assumptions. two versus one, but there are two walls there. Ah! Is that interesting? It is interesting. I combined both of the walls so that I can now set up a second shifter to get them way out of my way, and then I can dodge around it. Yeah! Okay. Well, give me level two, I guess. I don't know if I'm ready for a level harder than that. <laughs> wall is wall. Wall is stop. Key is open. Door is shut. Baba is you. This is very strange. Because this doesn't really use any of the mechanics we just learned. Door is shut. Key is open. So the obvious thing to do is to go uh, open the door with the key. We can make the key push, we can open the door. No problem. Um, 
But then what? What I would then have is access to door and his and sh- You sneaky bastards! I'm just allowed to walk right on through, huh? Okay, yeah, wall was, uh, wait. Ah, wall is stopped, but door is not stopped. It's just shut. Alright, so let me grab these words here. Get them away from the wall where they're easy to work with. And I think we just need key not to be open. And then say, actually, it is open. And push. Why can't I open it? Because wall is stop? Yeah, I guess so. No, idiot, it's because you forgot to make the wall be shut. Which I was planning to do, but just forgot to do it. Wall... is shut. Now I can push the key and it'll open. Now I have the word win. And I could make door is win. And then go in by touching the door. Okay, not too bad. Keep out. Tree is pull. Are these trees? These are not, right? They're like some other thing. What are those? Fungus. Oh no, maybe these are bugs? Yeah, these are bugs, and the funguses are over here. This is a fungus. Okay. Um, tree is hot, flag is win. Okay, flag is win. Are there any flags in the universe? No. How, how do you get a flag? Well, fungus has flag. How do you kill a fungus? Well, fungus is melt. What's hot? How do we make something hot? Tree is hot. So we have to get fungus to touch a tree, and if we do, it'll drop a flag, and then we can touch it, and we can win. Tree is pull. We can go pull a tree in there, where the fungus is. But I suspect that this belt is going to have some issues for me. Um, right? No. Ah! I can't pull it anymore. Right? I'm like kind of... Me and the tree here are a little stuck. So I can pull it in here, but there's no room to maneuver it once we're in. So that's not the whole solution anyway. Uh, let's deal with bugs. They're defeat. So, what if I just said, like, belt is tree? It doesn't seem like that great an idea. But there you go, I have another tree now, I guess. I don't have an is anymore, though. Oh, wait, that was actually a good idea, because I could then go in and rescue the fungus. Somehow. No, I couldn't, because I can't move the fungus. Can I? I don't see any way of moving fungus. What if I said a belt is tree? I said belt is pole? Is that useful somehow? Hmm. 
<laughs> not, not entirely clear. I, I don't know what this has accomplished. Um. Ah. Yeah, I still can't get it in here. Try to enumerate the options available, right? I can walk over the belt as my first action. If I do that, I'll have access to fungus and to melt. I could say fungus is hedge. Doesn't seem very useful, does it? Yeah, if I get in there and I don't have any words with me, I'll be in a lot of trouble. Even if I had words, it's sort of hard to imagine what I could do, but okay, for now, let's just say what if I didn't have any words. So I don't think we want to go in there first, which means we want to do something with the words that, that are available outside of that area. Tree is pulled, that's fine. I'm in favor of pulling trees, um, but it's not really doing anything yet. It would be great if we could bring... <sighs> if, if we could... What am I saying? If we could bring a tree into the fungus area, that's how we win, right? We have to be we have to pull a tree onto the fungus. The fungus will melt, it'll turn into a flag, and then we'll win. What exactly is stopping me from doing that? Mainly that, like, I can't get words in there. I can't get anything in there because of these dang corners, right? The only way I know to move things is with shift and with pull. Shift. Wait. So if I had a, sh a, a conveyor belt standing right here where I am facing north, I could pull a tree onto it, and then I could walk here and the tree would follow me and I could carry it around the corner, right? Isn't that something I tried earlier? Why didn't it work? What was I doing differently? Well, belt is pull is what I need to get that thing. Yeah, I guess the problem is it's hard to go from belt is pull to tree is pull, right? Like, it's, it's easy to spell belt is pull. And having done that... Oh, right. That's the other problem. You can't... You can't actually maneuver one of them into the space. Oh, yeah, you can. Like this, right? I, I can't get it into the other one. But I can get it here. And now, if I could just say tree is pull, I'd be set, right? And I can. A tree is pull. And no, we need to bring it a bit further over, I guess. Now I can bring my pet tree in with me and melt it on the fungus. Why can't I touch the flag? Oh, there was a tree on it. <laughs> sure. Uh, that was level three. Here's level four. Baba doesn't respond. 
Well, you're right. It's just KK responding. KK is you. Belt is shift. I can make something move if I want. Baba is push. Have fun, Baba. There's these two belts which go both ways. The tree must be stopped somewhere, right? Well, door is stopped. Flag is win. Hedge is stopped. Tree is stopped. So, flag is win, and that is right next to the word, like, where the flag is. So, we have to open the door. That's the goal. Open the door. Door is stop. Is door shut? No. Uh, but we can, we can do this whenever we want. But, the problem with that is that door is shut and open. <laughs> okay. The problem with this is that read is defeat. If read weren't defeat, we could do this and go in, right? So how do we make read go away so that it is safe to push this thing? Um, Baba is push. I'm like we have to somehow I don't know I don't know what we have to do um belt is shift why are the belts interesting what else could I do to a belt I could make them push to get an idea. <sighs> My thinking is we could push Baba so that he was like in this area, right? And we could have him moving around. And we could put a belt here pointing up. Although actually, how do you even get a belt here pointing up? Good question. But all right, let's suppose for the moment that we had such a bell. Then, Baba would be pushed up onto the reed and be going back and forth like this. At that point, we could flip the switch and say, ta-da, the door's open. Baba would get out, and as long as we could quickly stop him from moving and then later become him, we could go touch the flag as Baba. Right? Um, honestly, that seems kind of like... Well, it's not the only answer, is it? It might be. Because, like, I don't think we can possibly move the reed out of the way. I can't get belts on the reed pointing down, that's for sure. I don't think I can even get belts on the reed, but if I could, they would not be pointing down. Um, so, we don't necessarily have to have Baba moving left and right, and then a belt here pushing him up. We can also have him moving up and down... ...here? And then a belt push him right? That doesn't seem very good. Because he'd still be moving up and down, and what we need is for him to be moving left and right. So, it seems like we need a belt here that's pointing up, and that's very difficult to come by. Thank you. 
Also, of note, once we make Baba move, I don't think I can make him not move anymore. Because the only way to make something move is to put it here. And then it's, like, stuck. It's trapped in a corner. So, that's not necessarily the end of the world. Because if we took over Baba while he was still moved, we could get him to stop running into the reed or something. That would be fine. Maybe. As long as we could do it very quickly. Um... Other problems? There's no way to say Baba is you. KK is you is pinned in the top left corner. I can say KK is Baba. Doesn't seem useful, huh? Yeah, the only nouns I can move around are, like, is just Baba. And the only verb I can move around is push. So I can either say that things should become Baba. I could make three Babas. That might be interesting, I guess. Belt is Baba? Mm. Um, so I can make things be Baba. I can make things be push. And I can make Baba move. I mean, Belt is Baba, like, that could be interesting. But I don't, I don't think it's actually correct. I don't know, like, well, let's just do something. <laughs> belt is... Baba. There. I have a bunch of Babas now. Baba is push. Oh! Alright. I still don't know how to win. But I just realized a different way that we could get by the read than the one that I thought of. Um, which is, if we could somehow set up a Baba running back and forth here, he would be like on a timer basically to push this button for me, during which time I could come up here, right? I see. I don't want three Babas. I want one Baba with a very long path, which I can... Oh, don't go back to the map. Which I can make by using belts. I can make belt be push. Um, and push some belts into a position where Baba would have a long path to get him to here. Right? I want a belt where I'm standing here and facing east. And I want another one here, facing south. Well, I can't get that. I can't even get one here and facing south, can I? No. But I can get one here and facing south. Alright, let's set up the belts first, I guess. Um, set up Baba later. So there's one belt. And the other one needs to be like here. It's a little bit hard to do. But I guess I don't have to be quite so picky, right? No. It could be like that. That seems to be the best belt I can make. Best belt setup. 
Then we just have to get back, um... Baba is... Gosh. Where do I even want Baba's push? Does Baba have to stay pushed? I'm not even sure. Will he push text when he's moving but not push? Yes, I remember there were some earlier puzzles that did that. So now, Baba, if you could see your way to... He's waiting right here, please. Boy, I don't know if I can move fast enough to get to him, even with this much space. idea, right? It was close. <sighs> oh! No. I had a brief thought that I could have this thing point left instead of right, and then he could walk into this wall. Oh, 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 I solved the puzzle. I solved it! Give me back Baba his push, please. Baba, you have a problem, and your problem is that you're facing the wrong damn way. Start over here. Yeah, I have way more time than I need, right? Hi, Baba, what's up? Can you open this door for me? Oops. Yeah, flag is win, what do you know? Alright, I don't know if I want to solve another puzzle this episode, but let's go take a peek at number five at least. Patrol. Tree is push. Door is sink. Door has tree. There's a lot of skulls. Baba is you. Wall is stop. Flag is win. God, I'm just saying words out loud. I'm not really internalizing any of this. Text is float. Yeah, I see that. Flag is win. Skull is defeat and move. Oh my gosh, there are armed guards. So, it's not like there's ever a time when the door is like... Door is sink, door has tree. Okay, well... So what can I even interact with right now? What's water's deal? Nothing. Water's just boring. Flag is wind. Tree is tree. Text is float. Which means that it won't sink even if I push it into this door, right? Correct. There's no trees anywhere else. Oh, well, door isn't stop. So if I want to, I can just, like, walk on in. It's not clear what to do next, since skulls are defeat and all. Um... Door is push? Ah! Yes, I could push the door in there to deal with these guys. Thank you. 
right door is push. And then I could, like, give it a little nudge. Then I could put it back to being sink and having tree. Ready to swap this to a tree in a minute? Right, I only got one of those. But. Uh, I sort of messed this up, haven't I? Yes, I have. I needed to do it in a different order. I can't make door. I can't make tree be sync until I already have tree has tree. So let me just break things up a bit. Um, Tree has tree. Tree is sink. Get dead, you stupid skulls. What's that? You're afraid of trees? I'm not. Alright, nice easy win. Okay, now we're done with the episode, though. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.